Okay, I believe last week we finally finished off the Curse of Candlemere. And now we're just... We're just hanging out. I think there's like the, uh, the Skull Rock and the Wolf Cave or Wolf Dan or something. I wanna... I wanna explore and then there's the, uh, the main, the main quest. Of course. Uh, we did clear at Ratna Cave a while back. For some reason that was in the back of my head to do, but I know we've done it already, so. We should be a-okay, ooh. Oh, evidently, we had just come back from a rest. Oh yeah, I was still looking for... Hold on. Trust reward can wait. Uh, witch hunt might do... That's never getting finished. Oh yeah, Lonely Hunter. Forgot about that one. I need more mud leaf. That's why we're here. Head on. Dot. Five. Share my been pass. over the side. I have. Yeah. What if we? Go north. There's bound to be mud leaf somewhere. Oh, I'll take all of this. I need a challenge. Yeah, where's all the mud leaf? And so they walked on. That was easy. That takes us to here, which, ooh. Oh, what is... Vanim Hodag? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, they're invisible. Um... Protection from energy, do we have... Poison? Acid. Let's do this. Because I think they might be a little acidic. Knock, knock. Use the lighting enemies on fire first. Well, that's poison. Protect me, please. I mean, enough. Why, why wouldn't they be? A solid plan. Uh, Lindsay can't move. Just get a haste off. That is how her turn is best used right now. Um, burning arc. Now uh, you're already raged. And Lindsay's dead. Damn it. Dawnflower, grant me. Oh, Seren Ray, I see your light. Be easier if you not fight back. I don't. Yeah, load. <laughs> I'm going to go up and kill those hodags. I just need. Clint, clomp, clint, clomp. Oh, hold on. I need to grab this again. We should prepare. Should I kill the Hoda? I, I, I need mud leaf. That's what I really want. I'm going. I'm going. Wait, I'm stuck in the bushes. Yeah, 
Okay. So... What? I... I didn't mean to... Oh, Lindsay, get the haste up. I'm at the pre-buff. Um... Let's... Web. Maybe you can just go there. Of course there's one right there. Knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first. Um go for a scorching rye. And then Z move back out of range. And Spark Courage. Back to Octavia who will Fireball. Feel to, so it only damaged one of them because they have natural spell resistance. Dislike. Well, he was not perturbed or slowed at all. Oh, now I finally get a turn. A solid plan. Be easier if you don't fight back. Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. Go with a flare burst. Didn't work on two of them, because why would it? Uh, not slow. We've already used our enlarged purse or mass enlarged purse, not that. Create pit. Where did that one come from? He'll go on, go for another flower burst. Go, go. Failed to overcome spell. I hate the fact they have such asinine spell resistance. Can someone help me? Okay, that one's done. Looks like there's just the one left. Grant me strength. Aim carefully. Unless. Where is. I'm not seeing no more hodags. Unless they're in the pit. In which case, see if I can hit it with a sign first while it's down there. Nope. This spell's not supposed to work like that. I guess we'll just. You just do renewed vigor, I suppose. Okay, there is one somewhere. Uh, go, go. 
didn't seem to hit nothing. Very bizarre. Oh, he got caught in the web. He's trying to avoid that. She's constantly taking poison damage. Probably too little too late, but sure. Yeah, the Venom Hodag stuck in the pit. It keeps feeling it's safe. I just gotta keep going until it comes out of the pit. Oh, that failed its check again. Well, it looks like Amiri also failed because she's too in the pit. Should have done the light poison. She's going to die next turn. I hope that's enough to save her. <laughs> She's at 3 HP. It used to as far back as possible. Fucking slight breeze would kill you. I literally don't know what else, like, I just have to wait for this thing to... ...to crawl its way out of the pit. Well, I can't target it while it's down there. Oh, it's back. Attack! Which knife to use? Damn. Okay, that hit. Bring it. There we go. That took so long, and it was literally just waiting on people crawling out of the pit. 
Or what actually happened was that the pit, <laughs> the spell wore off. Special leather armor of before they learn from yours. Plus two. Is that all that was here? No mud leaf. Challenge. Our duty calls. Uh, we'll take a rest. Because evidently we didn't take an actual rest before the end of last week. Otherwise we'd have all our spells. <coughs> Venomo dags though. Hurrying. Who'd have thought? That was easy. Can't pick that lock. Share my path. Icky swamp water. I'll go ahead. Come on, mudleaf. <laughs> mudleaf. I know this that's up here is where it spawns, but it's never there. Oh, how's it going, Ratch? Appreciate the lurk. Means a lot. <clears throat> Hope uh, your Wednesday's going going pretty out. Going well. Okay. As the mudly free spawn, see, it mightn't. It mightn't have respawned because we failed to pick it last time. In which case, that's a little upsetty. That's a little upsetty spaghetti. And I know there's there's wild bars up there, but we don't want to fuck with no wild bars yet. I'm going we we tried going. last week and uh, did I try again? <gasps> no, that's just trying to get in. Caught like we took too much damage. Um, I think we're done with swamp witches hut for the time being. I'll have to come back. After some time has passed and the mud leaf has grown again, try and pick it. Uh, fortunately, I can't just pick it. It has to be a rule. Um, let's see, where do we go now? I I'm thinking that a uh, wolf, wolf lair or wolf den or. Where is it? Wolf Lair. And then, uh, Skull Rock. Well, Skull Rock's on the way. And the Shrine of Lamash, too. That's for a, an actual quest. Yeah, let's go to the. We'll do Wolf Lair, Skull Rock, and then avoid this fight. Yeah. Um, what if I go this way? Secluded Lodge. I think that's for the the hunter side quest. We'll leave that be for the time being. They're probably gonna want to rest soon. Um yeah. Let's see, and we're still we're still injured from last from the last time the party was out in the butt. Well there's wolves. Ah, we've been spotted. Although those sneak attacks though. <laughs> those sneak attacks. Oh, and she missed. Say, so can you move up and heal everyone? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, Lindsay, move to here. We probably won't need. 
a um, inspire courage. So I'm just going to see if I can hit with a sign burst. The sign burst isn't actually going to reach. So let's just do the inspire courage. And then Octavia again. I don't think we need any of our heavy hidden spells. So let's just. Rev Frost doesn't actually reach out to hit that one. Unless we move forward a little bit. And it is just within range. Forwards. Amiri didn't get to do anything. Oh, well, no, no, there's more wolves coming out of the cave. And from behind. Oh, no. Not used to lighting enemies on fire first. <laughs> That's the thing with these wolves. They're uh, they're pretty squishy at later levels, but it's their numbers. I uh, don't need poison or protection from energy. Can he summon monster? Do I get to pick? Monitor lizard, one d three wolves. Or 1d4 plus 1 dogs. Interesting. I guess let's also summon wolves. 1d3 wolves. And we got one. We rolled a 1 on a d3. Oh, that is... That is just upsetting. Let's see if I can sign burst those. And they keep coming. Whoa, that's the other side of the map. They're just spawning in. Um, maybe... We do need to mass enlarge person. I'm not going to be able to do it this turn, though. What I can do... Instead is that actually worked pretty damn well. The uh, burning arc, it hits one, and then the uh, the scorch bounces. Aim careful. I still succeed yours. Uh, knock knock. Oh, he's not gonna be able to make it over. Be easier if you not fight back. The summoned wolf didn't really do much for us. It's not gonna make it over and attack. Oh, it did, but it missed. Okay, that it. That all. It, nope. Alpha wolf. Two of them. Attack. Just doesn't have line of sight. Well, run down here, and then you can have line of sight on the next turn. Meanwhile... Lightning bolt. Flare burst. No, oh, he's gonna block, block her line of sight. Knock, knock, come up here. Oh no, there's another. There's another one over there. A solid so there was three of them. And now there's just the one that's not around this side. Over the fireball because why not? And not gonna be within range. Serves you right. Get a basic attack off. Yeah, this poor summoned wolf is a, was was created just to just to run around. Um, I think Tristan's fine doing nothing this turn. And. And knock knock actually. 
It's going to attack the summoned wolf and do nothing with it. Scorching Ray. They should finish it. Oh, not quite, not quite. Uh, she'll miss with that. Is the summoned wolf going to get the kill? Nope. Uh, but it dies. Aim carefully. You know, it did its part. Anna Mary gets the finish. Okay. The road I'll just collect everything. Our duty calls. I can't go into the wolf's cave, but Together. there shouldn't be any more wolves left. Let us bide our time. Let's give them what they deserve. I spoke too soon. There's at least three more. Attack. I'm not not exactly sure where. Oh, there it is. And it, it died. <laughs> it ran right past the Miri. Give her the biggest attack of opportunity. And then she was able to just turn up the jam. Gold ring. Yes. Some goodies. Bad bots over here. Oh, these are just dead wolves. And an alpha wolf, and yeah. Okay, well, we can leave. Our duty calls. We'll just take everything. Except I didn't hit the take everything button, I just said leave. But it was only meat and wolf pelts, and I think we have enough of that. Um, yeah. Let's check out this skull rock thingy. Empty skull rock, rather. Probably should have rested before we entered. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave and rest on the uh, the overworld map, just outside of empty skull rock. Wrong button. Oh, we don't have the ingredients for Shepherd's Pie no more. Which means we're going to be making a rice and nut pudding. The Stolen Lands are a very strange place. There is so much injustice and pain here. But then there is honor, pride, valor, forgiveness, and atonement. Everything twisted up in a tight ball. Uh huh. Just you keep preaching. Okay, now we can go into the empty skull rock. We're we're fully rested. The uh, the mages have their spell slots. We good. We good. Count on me. Ferocious troll hands. I see three. That's a doorway into something. Oh yeah, these need to be taken out with acid.
Which is why we have Octavia. We need someone to deal the acid damage to finish them off. This is just the wolf lair, but with... with Trollhans. And there's, unfortunately, a lot of them. Um. Forwards. Gonna get so many attacks of opportunity on her. Yep. Do we did Amiri not get enlarged to either? No. I thought she did. Well, she didn't get enlarged, but she get hasted even though it's the same range. Well, Tristan can keep her alive. Aim carefully. Attack. Tear them apart. I think. Down. This is for you. I'll mount that one so that someone can then move up and give her a hand. Get the healing going again. A solid plan. This won't oh, kill me. Hmm. Probably should have used her acid there to make sure one didn't heal back, but here we are. Just keep your interest in. That's the key. Aim carefully. And there's a lot of them down, but we need. I need to start getting rid of them with acid. And as I do that, more spawn. Ooh, I don't like this. Free damage. Well done. Come here, Batch. Not that stab you. I require healing. Attack. Tear them apart. Consider provoked. Mouth that one so that we can then move people up. Yeah, they're hitting three points per turn.
Well, I actually still can't fit him up. I thought I would have. A solid plan. Forwards. They go down. This is for you. Okay, now we should be clear to start moving more up. Oh, this one's getting back up. Serves you right. Oh. Not used to lighting enemies on fire first. I misclicked. Aim carefully. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, there's what? One, two, three, four, five of them on the ground that needs hit with acid and one with with the HP. You deserved it. Be easier to not fight back. Oh yeah, I just need to skip Ronda. Octavia's turn. You can't stop me. And she's the only one with acid damage right now. Wait, no. I think I actually have flasks of acid on my character. Don't need to heal anymore. See usable items. Yeah, acid flask. That hits three of them. Or should have, theoretically, because it's splashed. But nope. Okay, three left. We're positioned in such a way that if any of them try to get up, they just immediately get knocked back down. Actually, go for a heal. And I'm not going to use a acid flask on this one. Uh, I don't think it warrants it. I'll fight if I have to. Let us be careful. I shall not fail. Into the cave. Well, before I make that decision, let me have a little look around. The road it shall be away. done. Looks like into the cave is the only option here. Can't believe everyone but Amiri got embiggened. Hmm. Might as well kick this party off and see what we're doing. They were caught on a wars and hit with a big, big fireball. That one's done. Attack. Hmm. 
Knock knock used to lighting and it on fire first. Huh. Is it because they were hit with fire damage? They didn't need to be acidited. Perhaps. This one will probably need acid because I had time to heal, but. Yeah. Ready and willing. What's the hold up? I see something. I won't let you down. Clip clop, clip clop. I'll identify bracers in an elven curve blade. Keen blade of plus one. Bracers of plus four. Well, my. Our duty calls. Am I wearing bracers? I'm wearing the bracers of archery. And Lindsay was called for. As is and Lindsay. Bracers of armor plus three. Well. This is plus four. Hmm. Then I can give these to someone else who needs it. Something bothering you? Please not rap skull. I feel like knock knock's gonna be in the fray a little more than anyone else. Speaking of, would you like the Elven Curve Blade? No. How may I help? Ready and willing. Anything is possible. Let us bide our time. Everyone counts on me. <laughs> no one can use the Elven Curve Blade. Wait, is this a different cave? And so they walked on. Watch each other. Oh my god, it is. I should have saved the fireball for in here. How many of them is there? I should save the fireball. Be easy, do not fight back. Oh, they just keep coming. Oh no. Draw for a time. Do I have any other fire things on her? No. I can heal though. Aim carefully. Serves you right. Come here, Bat. Not not stab you. Protect me. Damn, that didn't take away any of their turns. The way I had hoped. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Yeah, there's two down here. Start using her acid to clear them. Speaking of acid. See, that did splash damage to them. And Lindsay's dead. Which night was huh. <laughs> 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 All 
fight if I have to. You can't stop me. Well, the thing with Lindsay is I don't think she dies forever. I don't think that's a thing that she does. Only ever getting that lower roll with the one wolf. Not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Bring it. Consider. Shall not fail. Yeah, see, she's back. We should prepare. And now we just have a wolf with us. Oh, cloak of plus one resistance. I'm sure somebody could make use of that. Adventures call to that. Here I am. See. What's the hold up? Share your trouble. Yeah, he's not wearing one. Neither is he. I'll give it to him. Listening as hard as I can. The road away. Let's go. We shall leave empty skull rock and take another rest on the road. We'll have another Golly. rice and nut pudding. Saw you near my things. Tried to steal something. Amelia, strange stabber. Uh, wanted to look closer. Touched nothing. Don't want to get hand slashed with that stabber. Okay, now we can go to the Shrine of Lamash too. And uh, I believe we meet with Castle Aldori here. I think that was the play. Is that him? Casting Garrus. Castan Garrus, seeing you, Castan nods. Under his coat, you notice a suit of armor. A sword hangs at his belt. The guard is ready to fight. I'm happy to see you, my Baron. While we were waiting for you, I've had enough time to choose a good place for the ambush. Yes, yeah, I've received your letter, Castan and Guillaume, as soon as I could. Thank you, your Chris. I've decided you'd like to see this place with your own eyes. The Mashtu Shrine is on the other side of the hill. I suggest we set ambush right here. The visibility is good, so we can watch the cultists unnoticed and choose the right moment to strike. If you wish, you can examine the location. Knock knock stomps around angrily. It's place of worship and praise, and what we, we mess around, mother of beasts, will be pissed. <laughs> Are we ready for the ambush? I need a challenge. Knock knock doesn't seem happy that we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna ambush at this shrine. Everyone counts on me. But I guess knock knock Move doesn't on. get uh, get a say. Ooh, what is? Cookery unidentified. Gift of death. Hold up. That sounds like something that knock knock wants. Get rid of the keen cookery for the gift of death, which is plus two on holy cookery. Sacrificial finesse. Unholy. Spar makes the weapon evil aligned and thus bypasses the corresponding damage reduction. It deals an extra 2d6 points of damage against all creatures of good alignment. Attacks with this weapon get an additional plus two bonus against stunned, paralyzed, nauseated, or frightened. Yep. You can have that. 
along with your little shock sword, shock dagger. Let us bide our time. Let me see the shrine. Flat stone is covered with blood and littered with skulls and bones, all that is left from nauseating rituals. Stone is covered with strange images. Mushrooms, we'll take those. As well as this token of the dryad. Anything back here? I can't say no. no. Did I just go back and talk to Kasten? Or can I not do this because Knock Knock's with us and he won't be pleased? Oh, he's not not ready for the ambush. Then why did he call me out here and be like, yo, let's do this ambush. And then I go there and he's like, no, 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 not, not, not today. Not, not right now. Some other day. Which, let me see, witch hunt. Meet Kasta near the Shrine of Lamash to on Monday, first day of a week. So it has to be on a Monday. And... I don't even know what day it is. Like in game. So I guess we'll just go to this hunter's lodge. This way. Dumra, yes. I'd like to see your wares. Uh, Robe of Earth, no, we'll keep that. Um, I'll sell both of these because I don't really care. Along with these rings because I still don't care. And take some of these potions off my hand as well because you guessed it. Don't super care. Oh, I need all of these. Um, a lot of troll hand hide. It's wolf pelts. Okay, now what do you have to offer? Supplies and rations aren't bad. And uh, Torrings pendant. I think we will take. Let's say uh, eighteen rations. But also, what is this place? Can't you see for yourself? Dumra grumbles. A place where people can rest after the hunt, enjoy a tankard or two, and fill their gullet. The nearest tavern is far, you know. Uh huh. Seems kind of secluded. No, it's not an inn. It's my home. I hunt for a living and let the other fellow hunters spend the night here if they find themselves too far from tracked. And how long have you been living out here? She squints at you, searching your features. Many years now. I know the whole neighborhood. Flatlands, swamps. Alright. And what about the main hunters' prey in these parts? Oh, on the flatlands, they go for the fox and deer, birds in the swamp. There's always a chance of running into something more dangerous, you know. Okay. Is that it? Right. Citizen. Adventurer. I'm going, I'm going. Can I go out back? Our duty calls. I'm going to take all your milk. Oh. 
Man, I'm taking all. I'm, you're taking your flour and your onions and your rice, your cheese and your potatoes. A sling staff. I shall not fail. Sling staff plus two. I don't know what that is. This feature allows you to add your strength bonus to damage with a bow. Um, Our duty calls. it's a bludgeoning tool though, so I don't think I, I super care. I guess I could sell it. We'll go upstairs. I did it. I did. Oh yeah, we have the key to her room, so. <laughs> did it without breaking it. See, she has coins and then a cloak of plus two resistance. Um, I'm listening. Tristian doesn't have a cloak. So we'll give him one. Everyone counts on me. Go. We'll give him her cloak. Some more adventures. What's through here? I did it. I did. I did it. The road I did. Awaits. Some valuables to sell. Did it without breaking it. Let us bide our time. Oh, lots of valuables. I did it. I did. Padded armor unidentified in a masterwork falcata. I shall not fail. Padded armor plus two. Count on me. Lots of uh, lots of stuff I with did. this room. I did. Our duty calls. You can count on me. What was the point of coming out here? If not just to steal all her stuff. Yeah, let's um <laughs> Oh boy. These are gonna look real familiar to you, I'm sure. Sell her own papers back to her. It shall be done. And um, do we do we just go back to where the ambush was meant to be and just sleep for several days? And just wait out until the time comes to strike. Because that's what I'm thinking. The March 2 on Moon Day. How far out is Moon Day? Because we are in... Everyone can I, can I see what that is? What troubles you? We should prepare. I don't know how to see what that is. Hmm. Um you see the map. Don't fall behind. Let's see, we'll go back out to this map. We need to wait till moon day. Uh, 
It just says Dazness. No, it's not letting me rest. I guess, well, can I rest in secluded lodge until moon day? I think that might be why it's it's here. Because it definitely had nothing to do with the uh, the side quest about the weird hunter man. Even though it sounded like it. It would have. Wait for me. Yeah, do you have a room? I don't want to... Do you have a room for me? No? I'll go ahead. Did I just go upstairs and pick a bed? I wouldn't like to think so considering they were all locked. Let's head out. But like I need to I need to wait till moon day. On my way. The only way I can think to get to Moon Day is to just waste some time on the overworld map like this. It takes like half an hour to walk from here to here. Damn. I tried to avoid this. What are we dealing with? Bullets? Oh, I haven't seen these in the game yet. That's the bullet's turn. Of course they get multi-attacks, why wouldn't they? Get that haste gone. And... Yeah, just... Heal our friends. I expected better of these. I really thought they were going to be something. Forward, learn from my mistake. Bullet bone plates. Everyone counts on me. Share my path. That was cool. Okay. Oh my god, I can rest now. Hey, Amir. I can rest.
Just gonna keep resting until I see Moon Day. But how far out are we from Munda? So it goes Moon Day, Toil Day, Weekday, Oath Day, Fire Day, Star Day, and Sunday. Which is none of which what I what I see anywhere. Supposedly if I if I mouse over an R glass it'll tell me, but I don't see no R glass to mouse over. Can't look at the map because I'm already in a map. Maybe it's done in Roman numerals. Cause that says V, so five. No, let's see if if we can get that reset to one. We're just gonna try to skip. Still just says V. I might be getting all this this completely wrong, but I like I I don't know what it wants from me. Octavia, why do you always primp your hair, huh? Everyone has That didn't actually kill much, if any time, at all. I guess I'll just do circuits until I see. Try to avoid, didn't work. Unless I accidentally hit fight both times, which is possible. Okay, where are the baddies? There's goblins, kobolds. Oh no, kobold. What am I gonna do? Except turn them to fucking putty. Fireball their ass. You forced my hand. Attack. I shall not fail. Clip clop, clip clop. I just want their valuables. I don't care for the weapons. Oh, we all got a level up off of that? Okay, okay, cool beans. I forgot I took a dip in the monk. Finally. We get a feet. Um, let's get die hard. Scaled fist bonus. 
Let's take dodge. Oh, or blind fight. Because of those invisible assholes. Just letting the ink dry. Uh, yep. Dips into your bard as usual. Also gets a feat. Sure, the god spellcaster. And level three spells. What do we got? Mass feather step. Crushing the spur, confusion. Sure, take confusion. That sounds fun. What you want. Uh yeah, your barb stuff. Another feat. Let's give you Let's give you the dodge. And you can also get a rage par of... We can get beast totem. Or increased damage reduction. Yeah, increase damage reduction. Make her more tanky. Our wizard. Wizard also gets a fate. Uh, maybe spell focus? Oh. Uh, um. I just die hard because she goes down quite a bit. And then new spells. Batter beast ship. Oh, and they're level 4 spells to Touch of Slime. Volcanic Storm. Ice Storm. Dragon Breath. Acid pit? Well, no. I'm gonna take acid pit and. Oh, our rainbow pattern. Let's shut. I mean, Volcanic Storm's pretty... it just sounds cool, right? Something bothering you? And then the Cleric, good old Tristan. You also get a feat of... shit, I don't know, what do, you, what do you want? What kind of feat do you want? Do you have Die Hard yet? No. I'll take Die Hard. No spells, though. And then, I believe you're just pure rogue so far. Yeah. Well, pure rogue he is. Can I make this... a plus? 
instead of minuses. Yeah. Let's do that. Piranha Strike. Yep. Take it. We should prepare. Of all the, the encounters to get a level up off of, Let us bide our time. a bunch of kobolds that were essentially one hit with a fireball. Nuts. Nuts, I say. Just reminds me, we need to memorize... More spells. I forgot she has the mansion door. As opposed to volcanic storm. Yeah. I don't know how to remove spelled. I guess I'll just I'll go and talk. Maybe if I just rest here and talk every day. Cause I don't know how to find out what day it is in the game. I need to catch my breath. Well, I guess it's today. Fuck, we don't have fireball. The ratty. Ah, oh, I forgot. To, no, I did. I did memorize the new ones. I got her to memorize her new spells. We have no fireball, but we have something potentially stronger. These cultists are going down. They just don't know it yet. Um, can we do the ambush yet, or? Count on me. How may I help? I won't let you down. I wish there was another way. Well, I was hoping to get a big spell off before, but dirge of doom. I guess that's our new bard spell. Earth elemental, fire elemental, water elemental. What's this? Can't do acid pit because I don't have that spell slot because I used it for fireball. Oh. I can't create a pit underneath them. <laughs> It. What happened? What happened? The game is freaking out. I can't. The UI's gone. Oh, no, the dude was talking and he's running. So one of them got away.
And the militiamen, don't walk into the pit, please. Missed with the scorching rye. Well, he's the only one that's that's up. Another scorching rye. That hit him. Caston, please don't walk into the pit. So his lab is just the dudes that are currently in the pit. Uh, did, I, did I do the thing again where... I did, didn't I? Where all the enemies are in the pit and we just gotta wait on them to try and crawl their asses out. That's funny. Because, like, there's nothing to do but wait for the... Either they die, or uh, they the the spell feeds, and then we kill them. As far as uh, booby traps go and ambushes, I, yeah, I say it worked. They definitely been caught by surprise. I guess I'll just surround the pit for whenever they come out again. Amiri fell in. Because of course Amiri would fall in. She fell in last time to... But we have the pit surrounded. Oh, if only it was the acid pit. I don't know how long the spell lasts. I probably should have checked. We'll check this turn when we get to Octavia. Create pit. Duration. One plus one round slash level. I don't know what that means. There's some maths involved there. Or we just gotta wait it out. Wait, is a Miri back? Nope. <laughs> Well, at least I know that spell works. Hey, look at that. Amiri did get it. Because, of course, she did. She has the strength to crawl out. These uh, cultists and Lamashtu priests do not have the strength to crawl out. But, I mean, we have the pit surrounded. So, once, it, once that dispels and they pop back to the surface, they are so boned. And speaking of Holy Lance can give a lap and you touch this holy quality. Ooh. Hit him with the uh, the searing light. Come on, cast it, get in there. Forwards. Come here, Bax. I'll stab you. 
Oh, our haste ran out. Not just the haste, but like... Even our Inspire Courage ran out because it waited, it took that long. I'll try to make this swift. That's it. Strike the half one. Aim carefully. Can knock knock get in there? He can. Finish him. Everyone counts on me. Manuscript. Glass breastplates. Be a hero, be a lot of walking. Where's Kasten? Hurry, my baron, I beg of you. Oh my god, my chasing after the dude that went this way. Oh, yeah. Storybook time. The triumph over the wicked Lamash 2 cultist proved incomplete. Some villain, or villainess, had slipped away under the cover of darkness and into a narrow gorge amongst the rocks. Without a second thought, our brave, loyal, our brave baron, loyal Caston, and the comrades in arms rushed after the fleeing figure. The figure, clad in black, was barely visible in the dark. The villain had gotten far ahead of us. At the last minute, the Baron noticed their prey had turned aside and disappeared behind the rocks. Um, yeah, let's go for mobility. After they decided to take a shortcut to catch the cultists by surprise, the party started climbing up the stone ridge. Climbing in the darkness is a difficult task, but it's not a joke when you try to catch a, a stable rock and hear the small stones crumble at your feet. Several times, it seemed our heroes were out of luck, but their stubbornness... And the thought of the runaway cultist gloating without, about eluding them gave them strength. Moments later, we were at the top. So our heroes found themselves at the top, and just in time. The cultist, barely visible in the darkness, was threading his way through the gorge directly beneath them. It seemed the cultist was so focused on finding his footing he didn't notice his pursuers perched above him, giving the Baron a chance to strike. What will our heroes do is next? Oh, trigger an avalanche. Uh, yeah, a Miri. The boulders rumbling down the slope, the column of dust, and the triumphant cries from above. That would be enough for Lamach to herself to turn tail. The cultist wasn't any better. He lost his footing, and his escape turned into an awkward tumble, caused him to trip and stumble amongst the rocks. Darkness failed to cover the peculiar way the runaway walked. The robed figure was limping, badly, dragging the right leg. Despite that, the cultist vanished into the darkness without a trace. The party followed to the edge of the plateau where the flatlands began. As our brave heroes reached the edge of the plateau, the vastness of the Kame lands opened before them, an ocean of high grass as far as the eye could see. A beautiful sight finding our quarry in this green sea it would prove impossible with our heads down and hopes lost we descended to where a small streamlet flowed amongst the stones and then there before us good fortune in his haste our villain had run through the high grass leaving a trail for all to see the party immediately set off driven by a single desire to capture the criminal who dared escape the punishment of the baron and had led us on this unwelcome chase we moved as swiftly as we could, but even the ground seemed to fight us. Rock gave way to mud, mud which grew deeper as we marched on and seemed to grab at our boots. Even the wind began to rise, lashing at our cloaks and a foul scent filled the air. Sheer signs we were heading towards the gnarl marches. Soaking wet and exhausted, our heroes came upon a cabin at the edge of a swamp. According to Caston, it was a hunter's lodge owned by Dumra. A hunter who lived there alone and was known for her great temper and little patience. It looked as though it might be a place where the cultists would seek shelter. If it was unlikely, the runaway would brave the depths of the Narn marches in the middle of the night. So the Baron pushed open the door and stepped inside, letting a touch of the cool night her in.
But may we have a moment of respite? Ah, uh, Casting Garris. <clears throat> this lodge is lit with only a few candles on the tables and the counter. Shadows lie thick around the room. A number of people are here. A well-dressed couple at one of the tables, a girl in a simple dress, dozes near the opposite wall. And at the counter is an untidied wharf. She's wiping the mugs and glaring at you. From the half-open kitchen door, you hear the clanging of pans upon metal, presumably a stove. Things have gone from bad to worse. We must find the cultists before they flee, and we have no idea what they look like. Keston's hands fall to his weapon. Your Grace, I'm ready to make an arrest, but if you wish to investigate further before making a decision, I'll make sure no one leaves the lodge until you give the order. Okay. Let's let's do some investigating. <laughs> a bearded, middle aged man stands before you. He wears a massive gold chain on his neck. The woman beside him gives a polite smile and nod as you approach let me introduce myself I'm Cabron Tedrum from Rastov and this is my wife Una Tedrum we've come to your lands to hunt yet I admit we did not expect to meet you in person yeah tell me about yourself a legalist his wife is the keeper of the hearth Uh, let's bluff. Of course I've heard about you and your most famous legal cases. Is, is that so? I do doubt, Baron, that anything you've heard concerned me. My family name is a common one. Okay. Well, that's a difficult job like yours. It's impossible to get by without some divine support. Who do you address your prayers to? Abadar, of course. Patron of law and lawyers. Uh, yeah. You recognized me at once. Do I know you? Oh, but news travels fast. My name's well known. Far from Brevoy, are you not? I've heard the what life here are excellent sport, so I decided to see for myself. So truth from rumor, you understand. Fortunately, my wife was in fear of the trip, so here we are. Snares or bow? Bow. Okay, what kind of pry? Cougars. Magnificent predators. Worthy prey for a worthy hunter. All place for arrest? Uh -huh. uh, a crime's taking place nearby. The one responsible may be hiding in this house. Have you seen anything suspicious? Have you seen anyone suspicious? Every person in the room is. Okay, what about the hostess of the lodge? Don't know her. Who came in the last hour or so? This young woman. Didn't notice exactly when she entered the room. What was the name our hostess used addressing her? Olika. Okay. Let's... Talk to the barkeep. Yeah, how many are in the lodge right now except for you? Three of them, all sitting over there. That one in the kitchen, guessing she's the servant to these two noble folk. Okay, can you help me find someone? Do you know who your guests are? Why should I? I'm not their ward. They come, they pay for a bed, they keep quiet. Why should I care who they are? Because a crime has happened. Shot a deer in someone's lands, not the criminal has to run away, the animal herself. Okay, there's a cultist here. Yeah, no. Several hours walk away as the shrine. And the footprints. And the lodge is the only one nearby. I don't like your tone. Who came in last? Some people arrived when I was away. Okay, well, you're absolutely useless.
I actually have her key anyway. Um, is clear. There's Olika. A young woman stands before you wearing a plain dress and a hooded cloak. Her belly is swollen. She is pregnant and her time is near. Your grace, it's an honor. I thought I'd never be able to thank you in person for your kindness, but gods were kind to me. You must have forgotten already, but it was you who discovered my husband's body. A traitor died on one of his trips. You found a brooch and a letter on his body and had it sent to me. Interesting. Yeah, what are you doing here? Hasn't seen anything suspicious. Who came in last? I, I don't think I need a key to anyone's room because we've already picked all the locks earlier. What about the cook? Let's have a look in the stew pot. The back door was used recently. So someone came in the back. Tread lightly. <laughs> Did it without breaking it. Bag contains Tadrim's clothes and personal belongings. No hunting bows, arrows, snares, or any other sign that they ever had hunting on their mind. So, they're lying. With this room, empty. This one, empty. This one, chest contains modest clothing and packed leftover food, a purse with herbs and other personal belongings. Table holds a pile of ladders crossed with a ribbon, ladders from Olika's dead husband. I'm glad to help. Mattress covers bloodstained cloth and bandages. Head on. Okay, so she's also suspicious. I, did I believe I found something. I did. Pile there to close, cover some snares, there are a few hunting bows, quivers and arrows. Sheets in the bed look dirty, the old bed covers soon together with a number of patches. Receipts, shopping lists, and other papers. Let us bide our time. I actually don't know, is it I am free to do what you ask of me. <laughs> Sheets were crumpled, the blanket is thrown aside. Someone was sleeping in this bed not long ago. Right here, my friend. I don't know who it is. Share I think path. it's... I don't want to say it's the pregnant woman. I think it's him. Or his wife. It's one of the two of them. Uh, I can question them again, though. The woman in your kitchen. Your cook. Yeah, um, I've been to your room and find no hunting weapons there. Become as white as a sheet. Oh, uh, well, you see, he licks his lips, which are not trembling slightly. Una, who is watching her husband, closely touches his shoulder. I beg your pardon, Baron. She whispers into his ear. You barely hear Una's hiss. Get a hold of yourself, you fool. You'll ruin everything. These words seem to have the desired effect. Truth be told is rather embarrassing. I proved a much worse hunter than I thought. Just imagine. I managed to snap not one, not two, but three bow strings in a day. Infuriated, I broke my bow across my knee. Shames me to even think of it. Yeah, it, it's them. But I'm, I'm going to question her, too. 
Yeah, what about the bloodstained undergarments? I'm expecting a baby, but because of the journey, or of all the worries, something must have gone wrong. It hurts, and I bleed. Oh no. Yeah, so it, it's not her. To you, I can't say no. Yeah, people say you came in last. She doesn't care. So it's it's these two. Yeah, someone who seemed especially suspicious. Oh, but which of the two? Which of the two? I want to say her. She seems to be wearing the, uh, wearing the pants in the relationship. Who are you, peasant? What gives you the right to address the Orlovsky family? Yeah, they, they know they've been caught out. If you're not guilty, Liddy, Tedrum, why such a speech? I understand all too well you need a scapegoat, but I won't allow you to cast aspirations on the Tedrum name. My opinion? Interrogate my husband, he who used to defend necromancers in the courts. I can bear witness to his crimes if a real crime is what you seek. What's happening here? Who's this? Death to the intruders? Hold on, was it their cook? Some. It was the cook. Summoned rad caps. Bring it. I mean, if we get rid of her, they should. They should disappear. Not that there are any issue to handle. I can't believe it was the fucking... Of course someone came in the back and no one had... I get two in my own head. Enough, I yield. Stop, stop, I surrender, I surrender. The priestess of Lamashtu holds her hands over her bleeding wounds, moaning in pain. She raises the hem of her skirt and starts to wipe away the blood from her leg. Her leg is covered with sores, oozing pus and yellow ichor. Yeah. Tell me who you are. Priestess of the Cult of Lamash II, the Great Mother, and Sanctress of Monsters. I'm not from these lands. I came because of the pleas of your people who seek the mercy of my goddess. Yep, yeah, no. You and your minions unleashed a blight on my lands. She shakes her head and tries to close her wounds, moaning. Nonsense. I've heard the stories about what's happening here, Barony human, but I have nothing to do with this. Yeah, so are all these people here because of you? They were searching for the blessing of Lamashtu. Other gods have denied them, and they had the mother of monsters for benefaction. And the couple from Rastov? Yep. Uh, the merchant's widow? Uh-huh. And the lodge hostess? Yep. They were all in on it. What about the cult?
Don't you dare compare your frivolous goddess to ours, who's as old as the world itself. Your orgies are little more than entertainment for bored townsfolk. Ours are full of primordial wisdom. Yeah, you know, it disgusts me to listen to this. And the rest of them are hiding. The woman's face turns to stone. You cannot make me betray the children of Great Mother. Torture me if you like. Lamashtu will grant me the strength to endure any pain. And you allied with goblins and other creatures in this area? Nope. We just have the same mistress, but our paths to faith are different. Kasten? Tristan moves closer to you. Please be careful of these people. Imagine how great their despair must be to turn the monstrous Lamashtu for help. The thought disgusts me. The priests did try to help them in whatever way she could. Um, the people are innocent. Let them leave. As for the priestess, oh, banishment or execution? Let's go for banishment. Tristan looks at you gratefully. I don't think the stolen lands have ever seen someone as kind and noble as you. Holy cut your grace wit. Let me ask you, no let me beg you, allow the priestess to perform one last ritual. Let her save my child. I have no other hope. Except for Tsana. Sure. Kasten throws a tired look over the lodge and rubs his chin. That's all. Well, deal with these people as you've ordered. Suppose it'll be a relief to Dumra to get rid of such troubling guests. I thank you, your grace, for your help and your wisdom. I pity we didn't discover the true reason behind the blight, but at least we have one less mystery on our hands. Have a safe journey, my baron. I'm still gonna have to fight the the red caps. Let us be careful. No. Oh, now I can stay here. It wouldn't let me before because all the rooms were full. I need to attend the council. I'm listening. I think we'll, um, I'm thinking, right, we see if the mud leaf has respawned and try that and then we'll attend council, do some level ups for the other party members and then call it there. Oh, and we need to rest. We're all out of rice and nut pudding. However... Sweet pancakes is on the menu. Once I killed a whole Who doesn't like pancakes? But our camp was... Those mm Two more mud leaf. Two more mud leaf. <coughs> That's all I want. Count on me. Right. See, I know that at least from what my experience is that it spawns up in this corner but I haven't gotten lucky with it in a while yeah it's, it's it doesn't seem to be mud leaf anywhere can I buy it from somewhere hold on I'm gonna check real quick let me just do the quick quick uh, quick googling
Oh, we can we can buy monthly from Vulcan at uh, Oleg's trading post. You can count on me. Well, we need to go up to Oleg's, and then come back down here, and then to the capital. A lot of traveling this time, this episode, this session. Something bothering you? And uh, I also need to swap my batteries over, so bear with me a moment. And the batteries have been swapped. Uh, I think I messed up. Because I don't know why we were back at the main menu like that. Right here, my friend. I think I accidentally loaded the same save or something. I don't know. And we need to go all the way to here. Now, if only there was a way to do it fast. Instead, we gotta watch uh, what's the little chest piece slide across the mini map. I need to catch and we're gonna have to keep resting here and there to. Your muscles are to die for. Can I touch? Hell no. We're good. In fact, we mightn't deliver the mud leaf to Swamp Witch this week. We might go up and buy it at Oleg's. But then we'll only go halfway back to the witch. And by that I mean we'll we'll go to the capital. And uh and stop I off. Use my name in vain, Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling. What I know about So that is the way I'm leaning. Almost there. Try to avoid... Evade. They were peaceful travelers, but... Let's just not waste any more time. And oh, more peaceful travelers. Avoid. Enemies, can we avoid? Yep. I think you should get XP for successfully avoiding encounters as well. Not as much as actually participating in them and and killing things for XP, but I think you should get some kind of XP gain for successfully evading an encounter. Because you, you need stats to do that. So I feel like you should be rewarded for it. Fucking show me your words. In fact, um, yeah, dick these. And what am I looking for, Mudleaf? Oh my god, he has it all.
I could have just gotten it all off of him. If I'd known that sooner... That, that's upsetting. <laughs> that's upsetting. Well, no, do you know what? Yeah, fuck it. We're, we'll, we go to, we go to Witchy. This reward better be worth it. They're gonna to want to wear rest soon. Maybe by the river? Nope. Oh, uh, no more for pancakes. Um. Shepherd's pie. Hey, Tristan. If you want to show everyone your strength, go wrestle a troll. I will deliver the swamp bouquet. It is a little irritating that I could have uh, could have delivered it sooner had I known Bach and sold it all the stuff I needed instead of waiting on them to regrow one and then messing up the roll to the harvest. Oh well. You live and you learn. Goblin Prince's wolf. Great beast, all right. I think we could go back to the Swamp Witch's Hut much faster than it took us going from Swamp Witch's Hut to Oleg's trading post. We made it. And give her the nasty ass flowers. Let me just. Where's her house at? Here ish. I need a challenge. Here are your herbs. Three bundles of each. The old woman clasps her hands and grins, revealing a row of brown, uneven teeth. That's a good boy. Sort of take a lot of time to find them, eh? Give them here. I'll put them to good use. Experience and gold. That's it. That's it. Confide in me. I'll... I'll take the experience, but that's... Uh, I have more gold than I know what to do with. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing in games like this. Oh, also, why are we, why are we playing Tristan? was weird. And now to return the journey home. Oh, we don't even have enough for a shepherd's paw. We just have the hearty meal. 
The baseline hearty meal? Okay. Where does Saren Ray live? On the sun? No, knock knock. But once I heard a story of a powerful wizard that made his home on the sun. my breath. Uh, do you, Lindsay? Well, you can wait. Because we're home. Home again at last. Oh, we're just going straight into the council meeting. The room is full of people. Your allies stand around a throne, waiting in silence as you approach. The atmosphere is tense. Today you'll be discussing the strange and deadly blight that's recently struck your barony. Knock, knock. The gloomy silence is only penetrated by loud chewing. Knock, knock has grabbed the whole fried chicken from the table and is busily devouring it, ignoring everyone else completely. Showed Kafkin folds his hand on his chest. Well, now that we're all here, let's sum up what we know. We've each spent a lot of time and effort to learn what we care, can about the monsters and where they come from and what's causing the strange disease. I hope this conversation can help shed some light on the situation. Caston Garris. Caston shakes his head. We need to hurry. If we don't find the source of the blight and eliminate it, we may end up with a rebellion on our hands. Yeah, let's summarize what we know. Uh, Joe, the surgery showed that the magic seeds causing the disease, correct? Right. Judging from the location of the patient's bodies, these seeds were ingested. It seems likely that they're initially extremely small, almost invisible, and the people simply swallow them with their food. Once the seed is in the stomach, it begins to grow and cause the symptoms we've seen in our patients. And Kasten, we've discovered that the cultists weren't involved. Doesn't mean they're innocent of other crimes, but monster invasion, at least, is not their work. Knock, knock, hearing the name Lamash, too. <laughs> Mother is not to blame here, told you, but who listens me? <laughs> I love knock, knock. Uh, goblins, obviously, I like having all these monsters around. To them, it's like a sign of Lamash, too's benevolence. I'd say they're just excited by anything new that happens. Wouldn't be surprised if they were linked to the story somehow, but I doubt the seeds were created by goblin shamans. Know what I think, Knock Knock says. I think Goblin King is rotten lie scratcher. Goblin shamans play him like reed pipe, babbles about Lamash too, then plots behind his back. Yeah, and can you tell me where these monsters come from, Tristian? The ones that appear because of this bloom. Tristian raises his eyes from the papers on the table. Undoubtedly, from some world alien to our own, all the monsters appearing from the bloom are exceptionally large and strong. It would be rare to encounter such specimens in the stolen lands or even on most of Galorian. But it's impossible to say what it is that lies on the other side of the portals that's intent on killing our people. That's all we know. Kasten and Joad exchange glances. Tristian continues to dig through his papers. So the Bloom's essential properties are strange seeds getting into people's bodies, which causes their disease and eventually creates magic portals. Now we just need to discover where the seeds are coming from. If I may, Tristian says, I've noticed an interesting detail, well, two details to be precise. First, the seeds afflict mostly the villagers. There have been no recording... Cases of diseases within city limits, except for those who came here looking for a cure. Joe nods. That's right. Thus, we can assume a common factor in how people are exposed to the seeds. Many villagers get their food from the same territory. Tristan slowly shakes his head. I don't think food is the problem. Take a look. 
We have the most cases of the disease here, here, and over here. He points at the map. Monsters mostly attack here and here. The cleric's finger travels down the map, tapping along a fluid line. You see the situation is most dire along the banks of the Gudrun River. Jode Kavkin examines the map closely. Aristotle, have mercy. Exactly along the river, that must be where the seeds come from. They're drinking water. Yeah, we have to go upstream to find the source of the blood. Knock knock jumps at your words. Take me, me. I want to saddle score with King. Caston straightens up and flexes his shoulders. If you allow me, Baron, I'd like to take the lead on this. I'll take the best members of the militia with me and sweep the woods along the river. We'll look under each and every rock, if needed. After everything they've been through, these people deserve a chance to discover the source of misfortunes. Yeah, no. Get your people and await my arrival. We'll do it lawfully. Cast and cast his eyes down. You're right, of course. Your Grace, I'll order my man to get ready immediately. We'll await your arrival and then make our move. Gives a short bow, turns and leaves. Tristan, how did you find the link between the disease and the river? You see, the seeds are not the only sign of something abnormal at work. Remember the ruins where we first met? Glades such as that tend to appear all over the stolen lands. Seems strange, does it not? Especially if we take into account that the magic seeds and the portals they create look like flowers themselves. Who's this? Oh, it's Caston comes back. Your grace, we have trouble. The peasants are rioting. That's the only solution these dimwits could come up with. Don't worry, Baron. As long as they're not setting fire to the streets, we still have a chance of coming to a peaceful resolution. If you allow me, I'll go and speak with them. Do my best to calm them down. And if peace doesn't prevail, your guards and I will stand with you. Oh my god. This is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Let us bide our time. The murmuring crowd takes up most of the square. The murmuring turns the shouts at your arrival and a stone flies out of the crowd and strikes the cobbles at your feet. An angry peasant. There he is. Out at last. Damn his eyes. Uh, am I good aligned? Please hear me out before you lynch me. Let's do that. The crowd before you sways and mumbles. People look at one another, talk in a hushed tone and shake their heads and frown. It seems rabbles who were screaming and jeering a minute ago lost all their confidence. Finally, one peasant opens his mouth. The Baron is right. You'll believe this? It's pure nonsense. Don't you get it? We could run the Baron through and it wouldn't change a thing. He's more use alive than dead. Pitiful fools, says Remus. You're doom yourselves by entrusting yourselves to the one who angered the great goddess. Find the source, see of our children in this terrible sickness. You know, I was. Not right now, like. <laughs> so that's the plan. I could have let Jode calm him down, but... Everyone I felt it, uh... Best to address it myself. Let's do some of this. Actually, yeah, we'll ask Kingdom Management. We'll do uh, we'll do level ups, and then Kingdom Management, and we'll finish after that. Um, move all. We'll take one, two, three, four, five. 
And then that just leaves these two. I need a level up. And Jubilost, our alchemist. He gets a new discovery. Um, blinding bombs, choking bombs. What are fast bombs? Holy bombs. Give him a holy hand grenade. Oh, what about... Tanglefoot bombs. No, I'll just go for the blinding one. Skills. Uh, use magic device. Knowledge. Arcana. Trickery. Stealth. And perception. Um, we'll give you... Do you have thingy... Die hard now. You can have that new spell. I shall give you Yeah, you shall have uh, protection from arrows, sure. Ragonger, or Magus, skill wise. Yep. And his feet. He can't get die hard because he's half orc. So we shall give him. I don't know what to give him. Toughness. He's a big tough dude. And you know, fireball or stinking cloud? Fireball. When and dot, always the fireball. Just fail, our inquisitor. Um what is Piranha Strike? I'll just give you a power attack. Uh, new spell. Give you prayer. Hadram. Another cleric. Not the best one though. In fact, I find him quite dull. Uh, oh, and you can have... I, I don't... Don't super care. Die hard. Valerie. Sweet, sweet Valerie. We love Valerie. Our fighter. Get that athletics and mobility up. Uh, feet. Yeah, this uh, greater shield focus. And a bonus combat feat. Uh, improved critical, maybe? Or missile shield. Um... We'll do armor focus for uh, heavy armor because that's that's what she wears. Go 
I shall not fail. And it's just these two. Uh, Canera, Kineticist, do do do, Stealth, Mobility, uh, yeah, Nature and Perception, a Feet, Allied Spellcaster, Wild Talent. Elemental whisper, maybe. Yeah. <sighs> she gets a little elemental. Now, what will our what will her elemental look like? I'm thinking viper. How did I get her to swap personality? <laughs> I can't remember. I could have just done this from here. Ikundayo, the ranger, who we don't use much of because stupid reasons. Uh, fate. Yeah, proved critical. With. I think he's using a heavy crossbow. Favorite terrain. Um, he already has a forest. I'll give you plans for your next one. Do you get new spells? No, I actually haven't ha made you um, aware of your spells. Magic missile and mage armor. That's all you got. How do I go from Canara to Kalike? Is that not a thing I do? But we'll go to Bald Hilltop, enter, speak with her, and then we'll uh, come out again and see if that changes things. Yeah, okay. Sulpar. I thought you'd never ask. What does it do? Not what I thought. Yeah, our Viper familiar. Call forth Kalike. That's what I do. Okay, now we're Kalike. I am ready. Also a kineticist. Fate, uh, allied spellcaster, and a wild talent. So fuck, you're also going to get elemental whispers, and yours is going to be a her. Yeah. Our duty calls. The path is. Well, actually, can I also adjust your spellbook? Intelligence score is less than 11, so you can't cast sp She has access to spells, but can't cast them. 
Her sister is the smart one. That's funny. We'll do a little kingdom management here, and then uh, wrap up tonight's stream. Didn't think we would get a level up during that, but what do I know? Okay, we did that successfully. Nature's Rage, Disaster, Manny Innocence, Field Claw, and Fang. He messed that up. Blighted Disease, didn't assign anyone. Happy Birthday to the Baron. Okay. Uh, Art of Making Friends, Disaster. Okay, Predatory Beasts. He's busy doing Predatory Beasts now. The Wise Man. A promising magician and scientist arrived in the region from abroad, looking for a quiet place where he won't be disturbed. The authorities may benefit from cooperation with him. Yeah, we'll send Tristan. And then Mystic Circles he's looking at. Sure. Projects. The Talden Mine's been restored. The uh, Curse of Baltop Hill... It seems the ball top hill is indeed cursed from ancient times. This happened when dark rituals on the par, whose names are long forgotten, held sway over this domain. The curse remains active today. It withers any plant that will grow in. And the road to Oleg's trading post has been built. Feast for the afflicted. Trade agreement. Yeah, let's do do the trade agreement. Oh, I don't have the, uh, the funds for it. I have the funds for this one, though. Can't do Tartok. Can't research any curses. Last resort, can't do it. Address the barony. Go do that, please. And he can't do the Feast of the Afflict because he's busy doing a trade agreement. I'm fine with that. Put away. Tread lightly. And the game auto saved, so you know what that means. That is the end of tonight's session. Again, super duper appreciate anybody who uh, stops by and lurks, checks out the VOD after the fact. It's very, very appreciated. It means a lot, as usual. Don't forget about our socials. And uh, we'll read out here just a minute, so do stick around for that. I'll be back tomorrow for, I think we have Hades on the docket. So we'll do a little Hades. But, uh, yeah, do, do stick around. For, uh, for the read, I believe Ratch popped in earlier, and I think she is alive now. But yeah, that's it for me tonight, so uh, I'll catch you all in the next one.